Venice belongs to the whole world. Five centuries ago, Venice was the economic and military powerhouse of the Mediterranean. Today, its shimmering beauty and artistic treasures continue to enchant people from all over the globe. Yet Venice is also exceedingly vulnerable. In November 1966, unprecedented floods ravaged the city, sounding the alarm that Venice's irreplaceable artistic heritage was in danger. Since 1971, Save Venice, an American nonprofit organization, has made a difference. We've succeeded in restoring hundreds of masterpieces of art and architecture, ensuring their survival for future generations. Our experts work closely with Venetian museums, churches, synagogues, libraries, and other organizations, collaborating with the Italian Ministry of Culture and many of Italy's top restorers. Supporters from around the United States and indeed the world make this possible. 53 years later, in November 2019, another series of devastating high tides struck Venice, seizing the world's attention once again and serving as a stark warning. Within days, Save Venice took action, creating the Immediate Response Fund, which enables swift intervention in the most vulnerable sites, specifically allowing us to rinse salt deposits from floors, restore damaged books, reattach crumbling paving, reinforce damaged walls, and prepare better for future floods. One particularly vulnerable landmark is the lagoon's oldest building, the Basilica of Santa Maria Assunta on the island of Torcello, founded in the seventh century. The church features precious Byzantine mosaics on its walls and floors that have survived nearly a thousand years in a harsh environment of salt and humidity. Yet their preservation and the building itself remain precarious. Right now, conservators are at work stabilizing interior and exterior walls and treating 2,400 square feet of ancient mosaics to ensure they last for hundreds of years to come. In a quiet corner of Venice, the Church of San Sebastiano possesses an astonishing number of masterpieces by the Renaissance painter Paolo Veronese. Now nearing completion, say Venice's decade-long campaign has addressed structural as well as artistic concerns. Restoring the luminous 16th century facade and undertaking full-scale conservation of Veronese's magnificent ceiling paintings, frescoes, organ shutters, and altarpieces. Even the wooden stalls in the monk's loft are being treated. Venice is home to some of history's most irreplaceable treasures. Titian's Assumption of the Virgin, the largest panel painting in the world, is one of those. Created some 500 years ago, it continues to adorn the high altar of the Church of the Frari. A once-in-a-lifetime conservation treatment of the painting and its stone frame and surmounting statuary began on site in 2019, removing centuries of dirt and smoky grime. 2021 marks Save Venice's 50th anniversary. Today, more than ever, we remain committed to our mission, saving this priceless heritage of art and architecture for the world. Join us.